Preliminary polling is suggesting a massive Republican sweep as we are literally only days away from the election and early voting is setting new records. I have all the details for you here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through what's going on. Now, first off, I want to throw this out there. This is not a politically motivated video. In other words, what I want to say is that I am not taking sides whatsoever in this video. I know there's a lot of people here in the community that watch these videos on both sides of the aisle and that is totally fine whatsoever, okay? All I want to do is bring you the information here in this video, even though it makes it sound like, oh, he's taking sides. I'm actually just showing you some information and an article that I'm going to share with you in just a second that I've been finding out there and what I've been seeing in the headlines. And that's just what I want to share with you. Okay. So again, I just want to make it very fair here. Okay. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> I'm literally just giving you information that I'm finding based on what's going on. And we all know this is a very heated time right now with a lot of, uh, you know, indecision with the election and everything like this. A lot of us out there are wondering what's going on and what's the future going to look like for the next several years here it's very important it's going to impact all of us so again just want to tell you what i'm finding out there i want to share with you uh what i'm finding and that's about it okay so i'm just the messenger here please don't be mad at me I'm not taking sides whatsoever i like to rip on both sides equally you've been finding that lately with my videos so anyway let's talk through the details further first off can i ask a huge huge favor of you please make sure to like the video big thumbs up button down below also please subscribe as well if you're new here or if you haven't done so thank you so much big subscribe button down below and lastly feel free to share this video with your friends on social media again share button down below Thanks again. Really appreciate it. And let's talk to the details. All right. So some new polling information. Now, again, this is changing rapidly right now. I think we could look back a week, two weeks, a month, and this is all completely different. I mean, this is going to change in the next couple of days here. This is also going to change again. So this is just the latest information as of now. So I, again, I just want to make that very clear. This is a very fluid situation that we are currently in right now. And again, until we move forward through the next few days, until we get out until, you know, election day, stuff like that, this is going to be changing a lot. But as of right now, a couple different pollings, uh, statistics were coming in showing that according to what they're saying, Trump has a 53 out of 100 chance of winning the presidency. At the same time, they're predicting an 87 out of 100 that Republicans are going to take the Senate from Democrats. Remember, in the Senate right now, there's a very, very slim margin between Democrats taking control or holding holding control and Republicans taking that away, okay? It's very, very uh, minor as far as the split in the Senate right now. Also, in the House of Representatives, there's a 53 out of 100 that uh, Republicans will continue to hold the House of Representatives as they currently do right now, okay? Um, so anyway, that's just kind of what they're looking at. Now, if we look out into prediction markets, now again, all of this is speculation. We have no idea. Nobody knows what's going to happen here in a matter of days. I mean, I don't know. Do you know what's going to happen? If you know, <laughs> let me know, right? But nobody really knows what's actually going to happen. This is all speculation. It's just basically guesstimates at this point based on the information that's out there and based on the information that we have as of now. So again, we have no idea. Any of this could happen. It could not happen. It could be all completely wrong. It could be all completely accurate. We don't know, right? Only days will tell and then we will know exactly what's going to happen and the future of this country and everything else like that. And again, we'll know in a matter of days here, right? So at the same time, I could also say in the same you know thread here, I could say, hey, there's really no point in me making this video. Totally fair. I could say that thing, same thing. I really probably shouldn't even be making this video because why? There's really no point. But at the same time, it's kind of interesting because we all kind of want to know, like, hey, what's going to happen here, right? We all kind of want to little, get a little glimpse into the future as far as what may happen. Um, sorry, but anyway, if we look out into the prediction markets, okay? Now, again, when I say prediction, it's kind of like the betting market, right? Where are people placing bets? It's kind of like betting on horses, right? Which horse is going to take down this race? Well, <laughs> take, <laughs> take your pick, right? Um, so that's kind of what um, you know. I wanted to share here really quickly. Okay, so according to the prediction markets, they're projecting a 62% chance that Trump will win the presidency. At the same time, 85% chance that Republicans will take the Senate and a 52% chance that Republicans will basically hold the House of Representatives. So these numbers are actually still pretty similar to the other numbers that I cited earlier on in this video. Um, you know, the, the 53 out of 100, the 87 out of 100, things like that. So this is what they're saying now. And again, I guarantee you in the next couple of days here, these numbers will shift quite a bit. Regardless who we look at, whether we're looking at Harris or Trump, they are very, very close across all the polls. In fact, we've been hearing some big names coming out and many different people suggesting, hey, this is too close for comfort, right? 
Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people that are suggesting they're so incredibly close right now. This is really going to be right down to the very last minute. And we might even go into overtime on this thing as far as the election. So there's actually a lot of predictions out there as well that the actual findings and the actual counts of ballots and everything like this is actually maybe going to be delayed. We may not have an answer by the end of the day on Tuesday. We might not know, right? It's kind of interesting to think about, but at the same time, would not be the last or the first or even the last time that something like this will take place. So it's very interesting to watch this come out here as we're literally right down to the final steps here. We're right down to kind of the last minute, the final wire here. And um, we'll have to see how this whole thing shakes out. And again, you got to do what's best for you. I am not here to tell you what to do. I definitely don't want to tell you how to think. We're all adults. So there's no need for me to do that, right? Why? There's just absolutely no need. I mean, everybody's needs are different. Here's the thing that I would say though. Look at it. Which candidate's going to do the more, the what's going to, like basically, which candidate's going to do more for you? It's kind of really what it comes down to at the end of the day, right? Sorry, if I can speak. Um, but it's kind of really what it comes down to. I think a lot of us look at, you know, the different prospects that are out there and saying, oh, what is this person going to do? I think we all are wondering, what are they going to do for us at the end of the day? What is in it for us, right? They can talk about all this other stuff out there, but if there's nothing in it for us, I don't know, not all that interested, right? So that kind of, that's, that's kind of like the big question at the end of the day is, you know, at the end of the day, what are they going to do for us, right? So anyway, I hope this helps you. And again, a quick side note here. I know that there's a lot of you here in this community that receive Social Security, SSDI, retirement, survivors, SSI, VA, stuff like this. I want to throw this out there really quickly. And again, fill in the blank with whatever name you want. It literally doesn't matter. This applies to Harris. This applies to Trump. This applies to everybody. Okay. It doesn't matter who's running for president. The president, for the most part, cannot do anything to Social Security whatsoever. Okay. So if you're, uh, if you're voting based on, oh, this person's going to do this or that. I just want to tell you this much. The president virtually has no control over anything having to do with Social Security. They can't. It has to go through Congress. Congress has to be the one. So that's really what you should be looking at is what are they going to do? At the end of the day, that's what it really comes down to. The president can say all these things. Oh, I got this plan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to expand that. I'm going to raise this. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to do all these different things to the program. My response to that is, no, you're not. You're not going to do crap. When it comes down to the president, the president will do nothing for Social Security and they will do nothing good or bad for the program whatsoever. My point is, it's not the president, it's lawmakers. They're the ones who do it, right? The lawmakers do the grunt work. I don't think a lot of people realize this. The lawmakers are the ones, even though <laughs> I think it's questionable <laughs> what they actually do, right? Um, but they actually do the grunt work. They do all the grunt work, the upfront work, and they literally just pass legislation send it on to the president, president signs it. That's it. The president literally is good for a signature or not. That's all it comes down to. So I think there's this miscommunication, uh, this uh, this misleading information out there saying, oh, the president's going to do this or that or whatever for Social Security and Medicare and all this stuff like this. Either it's good or bad. Again, it doesn't matter. As you can see here, I'm being very fair. I'm not um, taking sides whatsoever. And I'm not putting names in here. I'm just simply saying it does not matter whether it's good or bad or raises or cuts or whatever you want to call it. it does not matter. President has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Okay, fine. Maybe the president influences uh, lawmakers a little bit. Okay, fine. That's fair. We can say that a little bit, but lawmakers are also individuals. They have the mind of their own. They have their own agendas, right? And they're going to work together for the consensus of the of the the entire chamber. They're not going to be like, well, I'm, you know, I'm John and I'm going to do this or that to social security. Sorry, John, that doesn't really matter. You got to get the majority within Congress, right? So that's my point is that that's what it comes down to is all that. So again, I know there's all this information out there saying, oh, this president's going to do this or that for or against social security. No, they're not. They're not going to do anything. President can talk all they want. <laughs> they can't do it. It has to be lawmakers that does it, okay? So anyway, I just kind of wanted to really hammer that home because I see all these headlines out there saying, you know, this or that. And um, again, I'm trying to be careful with what I say just because I, I literally don't want to influence anybody in any way, shape, or form. Not my style. I don't want to tell you how to think. But I'm just simply saying, I see the headlines all the time. They say different things like good or bad or whatever about Social Security. And it's, you know, referencing to a certain name, you know, candidate or whatever. And it's like, no, they're not going to do that because they can't. They literally can't. Executive orders and Social Security don't fly. Doesn't work that way, right? So anyway, 
I hope this helps you. But again, just um, look at the different polling information that's out there. Just do what's best for you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. We're all adults here. At the end of the day, something's going to change. We all know that. Presidency will be changing. 100% f fact. We know that, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's one thing we do know for a fact. Presidency, the person in office, will change. Got it. Who is it going to be? Don't know. Don't have a clue. Don't know. But we do know it's going to be one of two people. That's all we do know, okay? So anyway... I hope this helps you to some degree. Again, just want to keep you informed of what's going on out there, the different information that I'm coming across. In a matter of days here, we will know the answer. Maybe, or it could be delayed. We don't know. But uh, either way, I'll continue to be here for you. I will keep you posted. And again, I will continue to bring you the latest information on anything in regards to your money, benefits, raises to benefits, the economy, uh, any form of monthly checks, stimulus, anything else like this. There's a lot of things that are happening right now. It's a very fluid time right now, like I said earlier. And... Um, I'm going to do whatever I can for you. Anyway, so I want to advocate on your behalf, keep you posted on what's going on, and uh, just be here for you every single day, as I have been for almost, what, five years now? Yeah, exactly. Thanks again for being here. Really appreciate you. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Like the video. Thumbs up button down below. Uh, share the video with your friends on social media. Leave your comments, questions, feedback down below. Again, please be nice to each other. I see some comments down below so often people are ripping each other. It's okay. If we disagree, that's okay. Nothing wrong with a little bit of disagreement. But just be nice to each other, okay? That's all I'm asking. Just we got to be nice to each other. At the end of the day, we're here together. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> we're coexisting together. Let's just have each other's back for a minute, right? Whether we agree or disagree, it's okay. Let's, let's just help each other out in any way that we possibly can. We're all here together. Anyway, please enjoy your day. I'm here for you in any way I possibly can be. Let me know what I can do for you down below in the comments section. Otherwise, check out the other videos here on the channel. 5,000 plus videos in the video library. Down below in the description at the top of the comment section. I've hand selected some very popular videos for you there. Check those out. Otherwise, right now showing up on your screen as well. You'll see some videos there. Thanks again. Just have a good day. I'm here for you.